Tomorrow night, eight of the Republican presidential hopefuls will be on the debate stage in Milwaukee, a city where Republicans have been actively vying for black voters who make up 40 percent of Milwaukee's population. NBC News correspondent Shaquille Brewster has been following this. Shaq, good morning. What have you learned? Hi there, Jose. Well, from tomorrow's debate to the convention here next year, even if you look back at the midterm elections and some of those key candidate visits, it's clear that Republicans are focused on voters here in Milwaukee. So we went to check in to just see if those efforts that they've been hyping up, that they've been very public about, if those efforts are working. Deep within this North Milwaukee neighborhood is a Republican Party attempt to engage minority voters. When you pass this office, what are you thinking? Uh, it made me curious because, you know, I haven't seen so many minorities as Republicans. Gerard Randall helps run the space that originally opened in 2020. This whole strip uh, has become known as the Black Arts Strip. He says it's been a hub for Republican recruitment, organizing and engagement, including at the city's Juneteenth celebration this year. This place, in terms of a fixed uh, location, is generally where people can come to get more information about the party and its platform. And serves as a stop for GOP candidates. We are going to be on the near north side of Milwaukee. I care about everybody in the state of Wisconsin. The concept expanding in 2021 when the national chairwoman opened a second chapter in a separate, largely Hispanic neighborhood. As a party, we have to show up in communities that have been habitually Democrat. While that space is currently closed, this one remains active, though its influence unclear. Last November, top Republicans earned just about 18 of more than 370 votes cast in this ward, the same one that houses this Republican office. It's a battle for every vote in every neighborhood. How do you make that sale when in this ward you had less than 5% in the most recent election voting for Republican? Well, you just keep Republican. plugging away. You don't get discouraged, discouraged by the fact that, you know, it's 5% today. It might be 10% in the next election. 2020 exit polls showed just 8% of Wisconsin's black voters backed Donald Trump. Randall says the target for state Republicans has been 30%. I get on the bus right here every day, so I don't really see nobody come in or out of it. Democrats say they welcome the challenge. You can put as many offices as you like here, but our voters, our residents understand who has their back and who continues to deliver. As Republicans here insist, this is a long-term strategy. We can't extend the reach of the party unless we make a case to those voters that we'll need now and in the future, and in the future. Is the Republican Party will need black voters? We always have. Meanwhile, Democrats here have maintained and even increased their margin, their share of the vote here in the city of Milwaukee. But there has been a significant drop off in turnout in the midterms in 2022. There were 36,000 fewer votes that came out of Milwaukee than when you compare to the 2018 midterm elections. That's part of the reason why you have DNC officials, Biden campaign officials here during the Republican debate. It's a sign that they acknowledge they have work to do to excite and activate their base here in the state of Wisconsin.